Hey peeps, it is Motivational Monday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't ever get tired of saying that. Like, it's just, ah, it's just an amazing week. Amazing week lies ahead. Oh my gosh. So, we are still in January, and a lot of you are doing New Year's resolutions, which, you know, of course, I can't stand. I think New Year's resolutions are made to be broken. We don't do your New Year's resolutions around here, do we, Feb? No. We only do goals. Yes. Goals. So I'm talking to Fab the other day, and he was already down six pounds. Woo, woo, yeah, yeah Mr. Fab, let's go, go, go. <laughs> uh, and that was um, around the 15th, I think, 14th, 15th. So not even quite two weeks in, he was already down six pounds. Just by cutting down on his soda intake and starting to go to the gym. Like, wow right? He was totally surprised. And I don't want him to get on the scale all the time. I want him to get on periodically because he's going to start noticing this in his waistline big time, big time. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you got to be feeling better. Oh, so much better. Like probably more energy. You're just not as tired. Yeah. Like I feel so good. Like it's crazy. It's crazy guys. So January is still the month where people are still trying to change their ways, change their habits, change their whatnot. And it was funny because I'm congratulating Fab on losing weight already. He's doing better. We're going to the gym. And then I said to him, did you ever get a book from me, Fab? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, did you read it? He's like, no. <laughs> And I'm like, why? Like, he goes, oh, I just figured it was your life story. And I'm like, so what if it was my life story? You still could have read it. <laughs> like, you know, you could have got to know your boss a little bit, you know. But I'm like, no, it's not my life story. It is a guide. It is a 30-day guide to helping you get better body, mind, and spirit. That's not an autobiography about Teresa Romer. <laughs> so I literally guys open the book today and i said sure the introduction talks about me growing up sickly child losing my brother losing my son all that kind of stuff so there's probably about six pages that talk about my life okay then it goes into chapter one about what this book's really about and then it goes into chapter two and your skin and your hair and your nails it shows you what food you can eat so Fab's always going, that's part of my problem. I don't know what I can eat. And I'm like, if you would have opened the book, <laughs> it would tell you what seafoods can you eat? What nuts can you eat? What poultry, what beef, what greens, what vegetables and potatoes aren't on here and neither is mac and cheese. <laughs> Are you sure? I know so. Maybe you messed up when you were writing the book. <laughs> I don't think so. French fries. No French fries around here. But anyways, it, you know, what berries? So here's the thing, guys. Even if you didn't read the rest of the book, if you look at least on pages, you know, 11 through 14, 15, it's going to tell you what foods you can eat. I mean, like, hello, I've done all the work for you. I've already figured out what food you can eat. Even if you don't read the rest of the book, at least look at those five pages because it tells you what food you can eat. Right, Fab? Yes. Then it goes on from there. So back here in the diet part, you know, the, the eating part, if it says you can have a half a cup of berries, you go, oh, well, what berries can I have? Oh, hello, let's go back under fruits and see what berries can we have. It's that easy, guys. I have done all the work. I told Fab, I said, literally, you open this up, and where it says day one, that is the day that you start eating in this book. And every day we talk about your exercises you're gonna do. I tell you what exercises I want you to do. I give you tips throughout the entire book. I tell you what meals you should eat and what in that meal you should eat. And talk about motivation. I mean, like we all need motivation. Guess what I just did this week? I went on a fitness cruise. Why, you ask? <laughs> Don't we all need motivated? Come on, I mean like, I went on this fitness cruise and I'm telling you what, like I was around some of the most beautiful bodies in the world. I mean, fitness models, fitness athletes. I mean like, you name it, like these people had the most perfect bodies. Now granted, 
Most of them were 20, 30 years younger than me. But talk about inspiring me to want to still be my best. I know I'm not that age. I know I don't have that body. But can I aspire and try to still have the best body and still have the best health possible, even at my age that I am? Hell yes. Day two, I literally tell you what exercises you should do, what circuits you should do. And guess what? If you're confused on what exercises just does that mean when I say um, straight-legged ab crunches, oh my gosh, you go back to the front of the book where it talks about the eating and in here it talks about exercises like so if you want to do a sideways duck squat because somewhere back here it says you have to do a sideways duck squat it tells you how to do the sideways duck squat so even as someone that constantly motivates you guys and constantly inspires you guys even i need motivated and inspired once in a while maybe i'm not that level that you guys are maybe i'm like way up here when it comes to not needing the motivation and inspiration but we all need it you know i work out with a trainer couple times a week. Why you ask? Well, come on, do professional football players really need a trainer to teach them how to work out? No, they have to have a trainer and a coach to show them what to do, how to do it. Take them to the next level. They always want to be at the top of their game. So a trainer, I'm not saying the coaches because coaches do the calls and everything, but I'm just saying as a trainer, it's a trainer's job to help take a person to the next level. So what am I doing with Mr. Fab right now? trying to take him to the next level. Yes. What's my tra trainer trying to do with me? Take me to my next level. Is my level the same as Mr. Fab's? No, my level's way up here. Fab's is down here because Fab's just starting out. Fab's just learning. I'm a seasoned athlete. I know how to do it. I, I, I can do it all day long. I just need somebody to kick my butt. It, it's that easy, guys. <laughs> it's that easy. Right, Fab? So easy. Because <laughs> I was like, Fab, I'm going to get you another book. He's like, no, I already got one. I'm like, then open the book up. I had you, the answers the he, was time. he was telling me the other day, part of the reason I fail, Teresa, is because I don't know what to eat. It's in the book, Fab. It's right here in the book. I tell you what to eat. I literally tell you what you can eat. So, guys, I'm not telling you you got to run out and buy my book. Naked in 30 Days. It's on my website and we're gonna put the link in below. Um, but this book is so incredibly easy to follow because it's literally turning the page. Uh, if, you are, if you're capable of turning the page, it tells you what to work out. It tells you just little tips that maybe you don't know. Start light, lifting heavy weights with few repetitions builds muscle and mass, which is not what most people wanna do. They wanna get slimmer and smaller. It tells you to slow, you know, what what uh, what to eat. It tells you what to work out. You get done with that day. Oh, we're on to another day. So it's literally as easy as turning the page. And then Fab says, "Well, what do I do when I'm done with all 30 days?" I go, "You go back to day one and start over again." <laughs> He's like, "Oh, so it never ends?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> and if you can do something for 30 days, guys, it becomes a habit. So guys, everyone needs motivated. I don't care who you are on the face of this earth. Everyone needs motivated. I don't care if it's motivated to make more money. I don't care if it's motivated to get in better shape. I don't care if it's motivated to try to get better health so that you're not sick all the time. I don't care if it's motivated to find a different and better job. I don't care if it's motivated to be a better actress. I don't care what it is. We all need motivated. We all need inspired feel bad that it takes someone like me or someone like Tony Robbins or Zig Ziglar. It, it doesn't matter. I don't care where you're getting your motivation from. It's okay. Go for it. And you know what? You can never be too inspired or too motivated. I mean, every time I go to a motivational seminar, seminar I come out feeling like I can light the world on fire and I want to change the world and I want to do this and I want to do that. So it's, it's amazing. It doesn't matter who you are. We all get inspired and motivated every single day of our lives by different people. It's, it's just, and I think it's awesome because whatever you can do to make yourself better and be better and be your best self in life, hallelujah. So get out there and make it happen. So just imagine Fab's already down, by the 14th he was down six pounds. We're hoping by February 1st he's down hopefully 10 pounds. 
<sighs> Hopefully most of you didn't make a New Year's resolution because most people break those resolutions somewhere in January when all of the gyms are packed. Everybody's got it in their brain. They're gonna do this, do this, do this. And then February or March comes along and they go back to not going to the gym, eating wrong, gaining whatever weight they did lose in January. They've gained it back. So we don't like the yo-yo thing. We don't like it to happen. I asked, I asked Dante before, Fab, I said, before when you've lost weight, how, you know, how much weight did you lose? 30 pounds. Why didn't you keep that weight off, Fab? <laughs> he was depressed. <laughs> and you know why he was depressed? Because the scale had stopped moving. What yeah. happened with that, guys? He plateaued, right? Everybody plateaus. Everybody. Even I plateau once in a while. And a plateau just means that your body is so smart that it's finally figured out what's happening and it wants to stay where it's at now. So now it's up to you to decide what can I do different now to make my body f freak out and go, ooh, what, what are you doing to me now? So what he was doing was I think running or power walking, something like that. Um, but all he needed to do was just add some extra stuff in there. Like maybe walk longer or maybe walk the same or if not shorter and maybe start doing some other stuff like some push ups and some sit ups and you know, just add in something different. So all of a sudden, because your brain, your body is so, so, so incredibly smart. It catches on really well. And so in here, we even talk about plateaus and what you need to do to change a plateau. And sometimes a plateau means for a day or a weekend, you eat pizza and you have an ice cream sundae and you just don't eat good that weekend. Now your body's like, wow, look at all this food, yeah! So it kind of like throws your brain off, right? It throws your body off. And then guess what? On Monday, we go back to eating really good again. So what, what did that do? That threw your body off for a minute. And so come Monday, you get back to eating good again and you're exercising. It's like you broke that plateau for a minute and now here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna lose some more weight again. So I mean like it's that easy guys. It's, it's, so he got frustrated because the scale had quit moving, but he, he, that was because he didn't know what to do. Yeah. He didn't know what to do. And that's why most people fail or give up is because they don't know what to do. This tells you what to do. Or if you wanna go hire a trainer, go hire a trainer. But guys, you have to get informed. Like the very first time you went to do something and you didn't know how to do it, did you just give up or did you try to figure out how to do it? So like, like, let's talk about social media, right? The first time you went to try to figure out how to upload a YouTube video, did you just give up and never do it again? Or did you say, hey, I'm gonna learn how, I'm gonna research it, I'm gonna get good at this. Yeah, I learned. The exact thing happens with losing weight and exercising. Most people don't know how to do it. So you have to research, you have to find out, you have to hire a professional, or you just have to read about it, or you've got to do something. You've, you've got to do something, guys. You just can't give up, because your health is important. And I've told Fab a million times, this weight loss is going to be permanent because we're gonna take it off slow, and we are concerned with his health. He's only turning 24. Mm -hmm. Turn 24 on Tuesday. We don't want him to have high blood pressure. We don't want him to have high cholesterol. We don't want him to become diabetic. We don't want any of that. We want him a year from now to be slim, trim, feeling great, feeling amazing and, and having his health in check and being the best person that he can be. Is he, is he great now? Yes, but Fab's not happy. Fab would like to be more fab. Be more fab. <laughs> so, anyways, I just wanted to try to explain. Here it is, a new year, and this was so funny today when we started talking about this. I was like, seriously. Fab, have you read the book? And he's like, No. <laughs> At least you're honest and didn't lie. But seriously, hopefully now he will go home and actually open the book and maybe even share it with his mom. You know, yes. because if if he would show at least show his mom the grocery list of things that he can eat. Maybe you guys can have that kind of stuff in the house so that 
Makes it easier. It's easier, you know. I mean, like, it's in the book. All you gotta do is open the book, fam. <laughs> So guys, hopefully this Motivational Monday video was helpful. Um, like I said, we're gonna put the link at where you can actually get the book if you want it. Um, it's it's fabulous. Maybe we'll actually lower the price even for everybody. I don't care, because um, you can get a get a autographed, personalized book. How about that? Yes. yes. So with that said guys, hope you were motivated today. Keep up the good work. If you're looking to be a new Fabulous You this year, this book will help you get there. It's got everything in it. You just got to turn the pages. So with that said, guys, leave your comments below if this was helpful, what your thoughts are, what you got out of it, and on to next week and another Motivational Monday. Bye-bye.